Earth and Mars have always been considered sibling planets, not just due to their proximity to each other, but also with regards to their histories. But aside from their uncanny resemblances, the two also seem to share a remarkable and devastating planetary experience, a planet-killing asteroid that could have shaped these two planets into entirely different paths. Keep watching until the end of this video as we take a look into how a colossal asteroid sparked a mega tsunami on Mars. These findings can leave you in awe. Earth and Mars Earth and Mars have a special relationship in our solar system. While Earth is almost twice the diameter of our planetary neighbor, Mars is much more like Earth than any other planet in the solar system. Despite having obvious differences now, with our Earth being nearly 70% covered with liquid water and Mars having none, both have valleys and mountains, weather and seasons, and volcanoes and ice caps. Evidence on the red planet also suggests that Mars may have once had plenty of liquid water, even though it's dry as a bone today. Far into the distant past, Mars may have been a completely different planet than the rusting Earth alternative we now see it to be. And as human civilization is gearing up to colonize Mars, telescoping sites and rovers have been keen on gathering more information on the fourth planet from the Sun. Through this research, it has been revealed that much like siblings who have grown apart, Mars and Earth bear an uncanny resemblance, with both planets having been warm, wet, and shrouded in thick atmospheres around 4 billion years ago. Further studies have also revealed a great occurrence on Mars, way before it had dried up, of a major asteroid that collided into one of its oceans and caused a colossal mega tsunami. Similar to the asteroid impact on Earth that wiped out non-avian dinosaurs more than 66 million years ago, an enormous asteroid that triggered a mega tsunami 800 feet tall has been revealed, with a newly discovered impact crater providing significant reference and data. Colossal Asteroid In early December 2022, planetary scientists declared that they may have pinpointed the likely location of a massive asteroid impact on Mars that triggered a mega tsunami around 3.4 billion years ago. Researchers think that the impact may have been similar to the extinction-level event here on Earth that killed off the dinosaurs due to the size of the discovered impact crater. About 3.5 billion to 3 billion years ago, the surface of Mars was covered by vast, shallow oceans. It was during this time, in one of Mars' oceans, or the Vastitas Borealis, when the planet experienced multiple mega-tsunamis when asteroids slammed into the ancient body of water. This new study, supported by NASA, confirms past findings from research made in the last few decades which showed evidence of at least two massive wave events on the ancient shoreline of Mars, which included large chunks of debris that washed ashore and rock markings that had been likely carved out as displaced water when slowly drained back into the ocean. This first event may have occurred likely around 3.4 billion years ago, with another occurrence that may have emerged around 3 billion years ago, when Mars's oceans began to dry up. It seems, though, that this new study now verifies evidence acquired from way back during the first images taken of the Martian landscape back in the 1970s, when the Viking 1 landed. Viking 1 was the first of two spacecraft, along with Viking 2, consisting of an orbiter and a lander, which were sent to Mars as part of NASA's Viking program, with the first lander having touched the surface of Mars on July 20, 1976. The images taken by the Viking 1 lander may have already contained evidence of this mega-tsunami, although back then, scientists hadn't known it. Our first encounter of these rock samples, or photos of these rocks, that have been made public, could possibly be the very same rocks that were probably tossed into the area by the mega-tsunami. Data acquired from those photos suggested that a mega-tsunami may have happened on the planet, but they had not yet found the site of impact from the asteroid which could have caused the planetary calamity. By combining data from several Mars orbiters to undertake a search, scientist Alexis Rodriguez and his team at the Planetary Science Institute in Arizona were able to find a crater 110 kilometers wide, which has been dubbed Pole, in the northern lowlands of Mars. The crater sits atop channels that likely formed as the area first flooded, which created a huge ocean after it crashed on Mars. It was also found that there were deposits, though, to have come from a later tsunami on top of this existing crater, this all occurred well before Mars seemed to have dried out. The size of the crater found on Mars also hints that the impact was similar to that of the Chicxulub asteroid which hit Earth 66 million years ago and caused life on the planet to significantly disappear, with the Chicxulub crater estimated to be 180 kilometers in diameter and 20 kilometers deep. Based on the dimensions of the crater found off the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula, the asteroid that caused such pandemonium here on Earth may have been 10 kilometers in diameter, making it a planet killer. 
Using the same method and supported with a series of simulations, the researchers found that the asteroid that hit Mars could have been either 9 kilometers across or 3 kilometers across, depending on the properties of the ground that it hit. This caused massive swells of up to 800 feet tall, with the rolling tsunami reaching as far as 1,500 kilometers from the impact site. This massive tsunami would have been a wall of turbulent reddish water, with some parts of it being hurled upwards and falling into the wave with displaced rocks and soil. And since Mars has lower gravity than that of Earth, the water and debris would have fallen much more slowly than it would have in Earth's gravity. This planet-killing asteroid also had an impact that generated a seismic wave which reached hundreds of kilometers around the crater flimsily throwing rocks and dirt into the air, with a catastrophic flow of debris as an added bonus to the already immense wave. This supports more recent findings and evidence of water all over Mars, and the theories that the red planet was once a blue planet like our own. Back in 2019, a group of researchers led by Francois Costard from the French National Center for Scientific Research reported in an issue of the Journal of Geophysical Research, Planets, that a tsunami did occur on Mars billions of years ago well before it came a dusty desert planet. This tsunami had been much more violent, and by focusing on surrounding landforms, it was identified that the site of the tsunami's origin was the Lomonosov crater, which showed signs of having been hit by an asteroid. In reference to the crater being nearly 150 kilometers in diameter, we can estimate that the gigantic asteroid's impact on Mars may have resulted in a nearly 180 kilometer crater with a subsequent wave that swallowed the surrounding land areas of northwestern Arabia Terra region. And while this new development is raising more interest, this new study from Alexis Rodriguez and his team suggests that the mega tsunami may have only happened 3 billion years ago, slightly earlier than recent predictions. The mysterious part of these findings is that the researchers believe the mega tsunami to have occurred just 3 billion years ago instead of 3.4 billion years. These findings came out at a time when scientists believed that there wasn't water to be found on Mars, or that the planet's oceans had dried up and would not be found on the planet. During this period, Mars also encountered radical changes, such as the collapse of its magnetic field or the fading of Mars's atmosphere. Much like the development of information when new data challenges existing beliefs, Mars's story has since been, and continues to be, a planet with a story that requires to be rewritten. A few years ago, the Curiosity rover discovered ancient lake deposits within Gale Crater, suggesting that a large body of water had existed in the area at around the same time as when the asteroid hit Mars. These new findings seem to add to the mystery that is Mars, since the existence of oceans and large lakes on the planet could also have meant that Mars could have had habitable environments that could have supported life. This scenario could have pushed Mars into the rusty path that led it to become a dried-out planet while our Earth continued to evolve to become a nurturing venue that supports life. So what do you think about these astronomical events? Let us know in the comments below. Space Infinity will continue to deliver the latest news on the vast oceans of space and all its new discoveries. So tap that like button and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.